This segment of the news is brought to you by Sun Oil Limited. Welcome back. Police escorting the two suspects believed to be behind last Sunday's shooting death in Fox Hill. Accused of the crime are Marshall Road resident Alvaro Curry and Pedriedo Magias of Faith Avenue, both 20 years old. Javardo Thompson, a.k.a. Jojo's body, was found near the Fox Hill roundabout. His alleged killers escaped on a moped through neighboring streets. Now, the two accused are also being held for the attempted murder of Antonio Morley that same day. Meantime, 21-year-old Ishmael Forbes of St. Andrew's Beach Gardens was charged before Deputy Chief Magistrate Shubaswala Swain with the murder of Zhang Song and the armed robbery of Xinming Ruan. Ruan was allegedly robbed of $200. Bail was denied in both cases. All were remanded. The return date for the court, May 14th. Over in Grand Bahama, a juvenile, one of several people arraigned on a similar charge, accused 23-year-old notorious Taylor, Kevan Wilkinson and Kyle Forbes, both 20, along with a 17-year-old, stood before Deputy Chief Magistrate Debbie Ferguson. This in connection with a body found off Pioneers where near Coral Road on Saturday, March 16th. The four were not required to enter a plea, the same in the case of 42-year-old Tennille Wims and 36-year-old D'Amico Blue, who were arraigned on abetment to commit murder. Bail was denied in the case of all the men. The six accused were remanded to the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services until the preliminary trial on June 20th of this year. Police on the hunt, meantime, for the culprit who left behind a bag of drugs in Eight Mile Rock Sunday. Acting on information, police headed to a dirt road off Praise the Lord Corner after 6 p.m. yesterday, where in an abandoned structure was a croca sack with five pounds of suspected marijuana. No arrest was made. The matter's under active investigation. Well, a group of pastors are calling for the stiffest penalty to be thrown at those found bringing in guns illegally. The clergymen, Bishop Simeon Hall, Victor Cooper, Greg Minnis, J. Carl Ramming, and Ross Davis, are pressing National Security Minister Marvin Dames to lead the war on guns by amending legislation that would significantly increase the present penalty for the illegal gun possession. The group's also encouraging parents not to harbor children encouraged in criminality or knowingly benefiting from the criminal activities. A repeated call for motorists to drive with due care and attention, this time from the Transport Minister, Renwood Wells, in the wake of two traffic fatalities. The first after 11 Sunday night on East Bay Street, police say the driver of a black Honda Coupe lost control and collided into a wall. He died on the scene. His passenger is in hospital in stable condition. Three hours later, at after 2 a.m., two vehicles collided on Blue Hill and Wolf Roads. In the process, a pedestrian was struck and killed. While legislators will on Wednesday debate amendments to the Road Traffic Act, the bill in part makes it illegal to drive or operate a vehicle while using an electronic communication device. Once passed, it would also be against the law to have an open alcoholic beverage while driving. Our final stories are up next. This segment of the news has been brought to you by Sun Oil Limited.